Stephen Max is a pop artist, a dance pop, electro pop artist who broke out a couple of years ago with the song Sweet But Psycho, which was a huge hit in America and in the UK and plenty of other countries too. That song was about how you can be sweet but also a psycho. Wow! Multifaceted human beings, how they can be sweet and also psychotic. How wonderful. It was never a song I really liked, but I was interested to see where an artist like Ava Max would go because it seemed like one of those songs that couldn't really be replicated again. And we just see this song be like a flash in the pan, one hit wonder type deal. And weirdly, we didn't get an album for two years after that song was released. We had that single in August 2018, would you believe? Um, and now uh, September 2020, we have an album. There'll be some form of explanation to this. There's always, you know, the backstory to how albums come about and how albums end up getting delayed and things like that. But I just feel as though the one way to not capitalize on your hype is to drop an album two years after your big, big breakout single. It just seems a bit silly to me, but I don't really know how the music industry works in that sense. Again, there could be some problems in regards to how she was trying to release it, I don't know, or it was just bad marketing and bad, um, you know, time management or whatever, I don't know. So with Heaven and Hell, we have this very loose concept type deal here where the album title and the album artwork, which is incredibly basic, by the way, I don't think I've seen a more basic album artwork from a pop artist, a very, you know, well-known pop artist in a long time. What is this album artwork? It looks like a L'Oreal advert. Pantene Pro-V, whatever you want to choose, this looks like it's trying to sell some shampoo that makes your hair shine and glimmer in the sunlight. There certainly is not any reference to anything like that on the album at all, apart from the track Take You To Hell, which is uh, really not something that adds to any kind of theme anyway. It's not a particularly well thought out idea for an album. It sort of reminds me of Love and Fear last year from Marina, which also seemed like it wasn't particularly um, well thought out in, in, in the concept and just didn't really execute anything very well. Even if you were to just look at that and think, well, it doesn't really matter, what about the music itself? There's not really a huge amount to report here in terms of the music. For a debut album, I feel as though Ava Max has not really cemented herself as any particular kind of artist. Everything here just feels like standard pop type stuff, you know, generic tropes, generic lyrics, generic song structures, not a particularly huge voice bringing these songs together, not a particularly exciting voice. It's just one of the blandest pop releases I've heard in quite some time. I do tend to skip albums like this in terms of reviewing. I usually just give them one listen and think this isn't going to be for me and leave it there. But for this album, I just had to talk about it because it just seems like a general issue with the world of mainstream music at the moment. There are artists that come through that genuinely baffle me as to how huge they are and how popular they get based off one or two songs. And I just have to wonder how on earth do they get so much of a push from record labels and the big people at the top because listening to this album, I just cannot point out a thing that Ava Max has that other artists in the mainstream don't have. Like, she is really not offering anything and I kind of just have to wonder how her success came about. Is it being fabricated? Is it being just pushed so hard again by the record label? I don't know. I, ju I just get so confused. There's so much great music out there what is in this that that that, that people dr are drawn to? What is here? What is, what is this? I don't know. The opening track, Heaven, which just isn't a particularly inspiring way to kick off an album at all. And then you've got tracks like Naked, which just has this really, really fake, deep lyrical theme about how you truly haven't seen me naked, even though you've seen me without clothes on, but you haven't seen me naked. 
naked. You haven't seen me naked. But you have really, because I, I was naked before, but you haven't seen me naked. If you don't know my heart, you're never gonna break it. Deep lyrics, deep, deep, deep. Tattoo is equally cringy. Lyrics here, uh, honestly, it reads like something you'd find on like a, a Valentine's Day card or some shit. Honestly, man, the lyrics and like a tattoo that's over your heart. Uh, because once I put love on you, it never comes off. Come on, man, you can write better than that, surely. There's loads of lyrics like this across the album, like on tracks like OMG, What's Happening, Running to Your Heart, like Magnets. It's just so basic in the way that the similes are presented, the metaphors, the analogies, like you could really try harder to write better lyrics, but there just is no attempt at that anywhere on this album. Some of the tracks sound okay, I guess. Born to the Night is produced well. The production across this album is pretty clean. It sounds like it's been well groomed. There aren't really any flaws in the way the track sounds, to be honest. But there's just something so classic about this, something so like auto-generated. It really sounds like a computer made a lot of these tracks because I just don't really feel like there's anything coming through. There's just nothing exciting about these tracks. It just sounds so predictable because the tracks are so straightforward. Her performances are pretty standard as well. I, I just feel like an AI robot made this. It doesn't feel like there's much human in this album at all. And I know that sounds harsh because I'm sure the lyrics mean more to her than I'm probably giving them credit for, but it just really doesn't sound like she wrote the lyrics. Like it really sounds like, uh, you know, people came together and were like, oh, this will appeal to teenagers because of how the, the lyrics are written. So just write it like this, as opposed to, I wrote this from the heart, I feel this. You can honestly tell the difference with stuff like this. I didn't like the last Ariana Grande album, which was a bit controversial for some people because a lot of people actually really liked it, but you can tell how the lyrics were written on that album were way more earthly and straight from what Ariana was feeling compared to something like this. You can always tell. There are tracks on here that sound just completely like other artists. Torn sounds like Madonna's Hung Up and even the lyrical theme on here is very similar to Hung Up. I struggle to see how she just wrote this and you know the, the production team came together and thought this would be okay because it really does sound a near ripoff. Who's Laughing Now reminds me a little bit of that Jesse J song which came out years ago which does remind me of how an artist like Jesse J can come and go like have a huge impact and then die out after a couple of years and uh, it really just goes to show how the you know the pop music industry works as soon as an artist just loses their flair loses their momentum they kind of just get shoved to the side and someone else comes along to replace them and i feel like ava max represents that because i'm sure in a couple of years there'll be someone else that they push that's similar but isn't Ava Max, so they use someone else and like, oh, this is going to be the next one. This this is the next person, the next big thing. The hook on Belladonna is grating as hell. Really hate this track. Honestly, one of the few tracks that I think is genuinely really bad because a lot of the tracks are pretty meh, but this one is actually just straight up bad. So Am I is this misfit, I'm different anthem which every mainstream artist seems to have to throw out there, even though they're pretty standard and there's nothing really that different about them. But um, the, the, the thing about this track is that most of the album doesn't really display any attempts at showing how different Ava is in the lyrical themes, but then this track comes towards the end and it's like, you're supposed to believe it. What, what's so different about you? I don't get it. I guess it could be inspiring again for younger people but it just feels kind of fake. It feels like she's just trying to appeal to that crowd rather than, again, it coming from her emotions and, you know, who she truly is. It's hard to tell. The album ends off on Sweet But Psycho, which I've already said is a pretty whatever track to me. The other single as well, which was fairly popular, Kings and Queens, don't really get much out of this one either. I don't know, man, this album just feels very, just whatever, overall. I, 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 
I just don't get it. I don't get it. I spend so much time in real life and on this channel, but in real life, urging people to just look for some new music because the stuff that gets fed to you by the radio, you know, uh, by the charts, whatever, just isn't always worth your time. It's not to say that all popular music is bad. I'm not saying that. I'm not like that at all. But when you get artists like this come through, you just kind of have to wonder what it is that made their success come about because there's just so much greatness out there that people will never lay their ears on because they're just busy uh, paying attention to what's in the charts and they just kind of have to wonder why you would do that because they're just, it's so much better out there than this and I just get a bit confused. So I've got to go four out of 10, but you know, if you like this, that's absolutely fine. If you're a fan of this, okay. I'm not here to say you're wrong. I'm not here to say that you are invalidated for having that opinion, but I just genuinely feel that this is just not worth anyone's time at all. And uh, really look around because there's so much great music and uh, this just isn't an example of that. Thank you for watching this review. Hopefully you enjoyed it. Hopefully you have a good day as well. Let me know your thoughts in the comments if you have heard this. Thank you for watching. Subscribe, hit the notification bell too so you don't miss any videos. Have a good day. And goodbye.